Good morning from San Francisco. I'm on a bit of a mission this morning. I'm heading out to pick up a second wetsuit just for like guests and stuff. Um, in the winter time, I guess wetsuits sell for like nothing. So I found one on Craigslist is selling for $20. Might as well pick it up. And then after that, I'll meet back up with Jesse and I think we're gonna hit the, hit to the beach. Yeah, but I'm starving. I will grab some snacks first. This is surreal to be back in San Francisco. Well, I'm running a bit early for my meetup there to buy the wetsuit, so just making myself some breakfast on the roadside here. Freaking California. It's really cool, man. I just, this is like the sixth time I think I've dipped into California and it's totally different than any time before. Plus, I love how as soon as you get to San Francisco, it goes from desert to like rainforest. Right on there, right on that spot. I'm just north of San Francisco a bit and it is very lush here, it's nice. Met up with Jesse again. It's rad hanging out with him. He's like a, a veteran of this kind of lifestyle. He's done boats, he's done RVs, he's done vans. He's doing the truck camper thing now. Stationary, mostly, not really. Moving around the Bay Area. But uh, you, in every other way, he's actually a pretty boring dude with a regular job and regular everything. You just can't be bothered to like buy a house and do the rest of it. And uh, he knows a lot about sailboats. So I'm having some relaxing day by the pool, have a little nice lunch, and then we're gonna take some look at some boats here. A hundred. It's a 35. Oh, it looks big for a 35. Yeah. So, this is actually not that 
far off from uh, the list a little bigger. It's got the wheel, not a tiller. It does have a wheel. Doesn't yeah. have the deck on the back. Nope. Uh, no. I want to say he bought this for. I want to say he bought it for like thirty to forty. Okay. Okay. So I have learned through talking to uh, Jesse here that really I don't know much about sailboats at all. He keeps saying words that I've never heard before, which is one of the main reasons I love talking to him because it's the same thing with van dwelling. Like he was dropping, when I first met him last year, dropping all kinds of knowledge on me that I was like, what did you say? What word is that? Boon, boondocking? What is that? You know, like, and it, I, I feel like I'm having deja vu right now with the sailboat stuff. All I know for sure is I want an electric motor and I want a boat that needs as little as possible to be brought from land to the boat. That means fuel wise, that means uh, it's got to have a water maker, stuff like that. That's what I'm looking for. And then the rest of it is all the sailing knowledge I don't actually have. So I need to make those kinds of decisions too. This this guy's leaving soon. He's a world cruiser. He's sailed around the world a couple times. Whoa. Um, I think they're headed to maybe Guatemala soon next. Might be next port, port of call. Oh, jeez. Is this like 60 feet? Good guess. Yeah, I'd say it's, it's, a, it's a big one, yeah. Do these even have names when they get this big? Or like, I'm sure or are they it all does. one-offs or what are they? Um, I'm sure it does. I don't know this particular boat. Um, this is actually a man. Islander 28. This is your your shared little rig. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Champ, tiller. Forward. Yes, Tiller's Tiller. Dear. Hey, buddy. You want to step on a sailboat for the first time in your life? Hey, hold on. Hold on. I don't know if you can make that jump. I'm going to take this down. All right. You ready? Set. Let's go. Yeah. You're in a sailboat. Yeah. How do you like it, champ? Could you live on one? Yeah, he's a fan. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. You can kind of see everything at once. There's a little head, there's a little door in that mid, mid. Oh, I've got to work this out of my head. This is a 28 foot boat. It's certainly more comfortable than my van, but I can't just go walk off the end of, you know, open the door and go take a hike. So I'm going to be spending a lot more time in the boat. Something to think about for size wise. What are the other disadvantages, like other than just price for getting a bigger boat? You have to worry about like, how easy it is to sail are bigger boats easier or harder to sail i'd say easier really bigger boats are you find once you're easier? open ocean once you're open ocean now if you're when it comes to docking in like this marina because this is kind of a tight marina yeah docking bigger boats can be a little more difficult but open ocean once you take it on swells and wave the longer your length decreases your roll as you oh. felt when you're on that canoe you guys were taking swell with your yeah your yeah dad. the longer your boat you can actually traverse the swells so so Here's oh, the ocean. Gotcha. So if your boat's longer, it can almost bridge swells. Instead of going riding up one and coming down the other, like a little right, bit would, yeah. it can kind of surf up one. If it's big enough, it could bridge the gap of the swells. So you're looking at 50 footers there though. You yeah, know? yeah. You're looking fucking adorable. I'm I'm in love right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm getting a real kick out of just uh, being on this boat, having champ on a sailboat. It's the first first step, buddy. Where are you gonna go to the bathroom on a boat? That's gonna be tricky, bro. Where do you go? Where do puppies go to the bathroom on boats? I don't know. I guess I don't you know. a little piece of astroturf. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Make them a little astroturf, a little, little, little piss garden. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You did it. You did it. All right, it's really cool talking with Jesse today. Like a lot of it doesn't come across in the videos and, and I talk about this sometimes when my friends are like, 
basically only a third of my day really makes it to the video. Um, there's just a lot of other stuff that happens and today it was like a nice relaxing day but also I'm like mentally exhausted just listening to and learning and like changing my whole perception on boats like several times today I had like epiphanies being like oh, I need to do this and change everything and you know I feel like the idea just like the van the idea with the boat was a bit romanticized in your head and when you're confronted with reality you have to be ready to be flexible because boy oh boy there are some realities I just did not see coming so dinner tonight is on me and I'm making curry let's do this I'm gonna sell my shoes. 